Hi hey everyone, I'm teaming up with Google Kidspace for this video to give you a step-by-step -step process of setting up your child's tablet with Google Kidspace. Now, if you are new to Google Kidspace, it's basically a kids mode on select Android tablets with a library of content to create, to discover, and to grow. And once we go through the full setup process at the end of the video, I'll briefly show you the library of content and everything Google Kidspace has inside of it. And Google Kidspace is available on select Android tablets like the one I have here, but I'll put a full list in the description below this video of all the compatible tablets. And when you turn on a compatible tablet for the first time, you basically just have to go through the setup process before we could set up Google Kidspace, which is pretty straightforward. You just have to connect to Wi-Fi. Once we connect to Wi-Fi, I'm not gonna copy anything. We're gonna set this up as a brand new device here. So just go ahead and skip that section. And then you land on this page, who's going to use this device. You wanna make sure you choose a child to set up Google Kidspace. So you have to make sure you select this option here. Now this is important because Google Kidspace only works with Google account for children. So you have to actually set up this device for your kids using a dedicated Google account for your kids. Now, the reason for this is because it helps ensure that the children's information is handled with the appropriate privacy safeguards. And you could actually remotely supervise everything that happens on this tablet using another app called Family Link. So I'm gonna press got it here and I'm gonna sign in with the child's Google account here or if I don't have one, I could create a new Google account here on this page, which this is what I'm gonna do for this case. And when you set this up, you could use that other app I mentioned, which I'll show you the called Family Link app, where you could actually control everything that's going on remotely. You don't have to actually go on this device to see what's going on. You could help download apps and then see all kinds of different things completely remote using your phone. I'm gonna press yes. And the first page of the create a Google account process for your child, just ask for their first name and last name, put that in there. And then it's gonna ask for their birthday here. This is important because if they're under the age of nine, everything is gonna go according to what I'm gonna show you. But if they're under the age of 13, but older than nine, it's a little bit of a different process here. So make sure you follow the instructions on the screen, depending on the birthday you put, there's gonna be a few different prompts here that are different, but ultimately, go through this process to get to the next page. And then you'll have to create a Gmail account here for your kids. So this is not the same Gmail account you already have. So type in a username and sign up. And this account has to be linked to a parent's account. So this is where your email or your phone number associated with your Google account is gonna go. So make sure you type in your Google account here, not the new one you set up. And this is gonna tell you more about the new account you just set up. So go ahead and read and agree and press agree down the bottom. And here to link your Google account to your kid's Google account, you do have to type in your passport. So I'm gonna type that in and press next. And these are the Google settings here, but you can review and change any of them. So for example, filters on Google search, you can make sure it's turned on and it is by default, but try to block mature sites, for example, is also selected but you can change any of the settings you see here. I'll press next. And then the other app that I mentioned called Family Link app, you could actually install it on your Android device or your iPhone device, completely separate from this. So you do want to go ahead and install it here. And again, this is just an example on an Android phone of what it's gonna look like once you go ahead and set it up. In this case, I'm just gonna make sure I install it here for myself and on this tablet. Parents can manage their child's kid space experience with parental controls available on their child's device and on the parent's phone via the Family Link app. And finally, you should land on this page, set up Google Kid Space. So the two steps before this were simply setting up a Google account for your kids, which I've already set up. And then I had to get the other app called Family Link. And then I could go ahead and press set up here. And I'll show you some of the things that you'll have to select. And this is the settings for your child's library, but a little more about Google Kidspace here. It basically provides a library of content. So that includes apps and books and videos. And Kidspace recommends teacher approved apps, handpicked books and videos from YouTube Kids. So in this screen, you could make adjustments to the Google Kidspace and how it behaves. So for example, 
allow teacher approved apps. So that's the recommended option here. Or you could review each app before it's installed. Now I selected this one and it makes it really easy for my kid to basically select what they want to install that is already teacher approved. I don't have to worry about them installing something I don't want. But if I want more control, you should pick this one where you review each app before it's installed. And then you have this option. It says hide recommended apps with ads. Now every app is not going to have ads, but some will. So if you don't want those, you could go ahead and turn this on over here. And some apps that are already installed on this device may have ads, including YouTube kids. So that's what this option is. So make sure if you don't want to see any apps that have ads in it, activate this. If you don't mind that, go ahead and leave this off over here. Now every Android tablet like this one comes pre-installed with some apps by default. And you could see a full list over here. These could be things like Calendar and Chrome and Contact, but there are other things like Google Drive and YouTube and Google Maps here. With YouTube and with Chrome, parents will get to choose what their child sees in those apps. But you can choose to hide any of these that you don't want. So by selecting each one here that you don't want, you could basically block them. Now, if you choose to block them, this will block it on any device that your child is signed into using their Google account. I'll just get to the bottom here and press next. And with Google services, you could choose to back up to Google Drive, which I will leave on over here. And then you could also give it access to use your location and allow scanning for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and send usage and diagnostic data. Now I have everything just set to default here and I'll press accept. And you could lock your screen using a four digit pin here that you could share with your kids here, or you could skip this if you don't want any kind of a screen lock on this device. Now it's completely fine not to have screen lock if the device is just for a child. But if you ever set up a profile for an adult in the future, then they will want to set up screen lock. And this gives you a few more options, but I'm gonna say no thanks, I'm all set. And you're finally on a section where you could get your kids involved. So let's go ahead and press next here and get them nearby so they could help us set up the next step of the process. Now let me go ahead and set this sideways here. It's gonna ask you to pick what you like. This is based on your kids' interest here. So they could pick three things from this page to go to the next page. So have them pick three things that they're interested in. So I'll go ahead and choose these three and then let's go ahead and press next. And to enter Google Kids Space, all you have to do now is have your kids press push. Now kids really like this page because you could basically customize this Google Kids Space character and you could come back to it at any time. But on this page, you have lots of different options from different skin tone to eyes, to nose, to hair and clothing. You could select any of the options that you see over here to customize your character, including things like headphones and glasses too. And when you're happy, press done. Now this is Google Kids Space now, and you could hand this tablet to your kids, but I do wanna show you a couple other things in here that are gonna come in really handy. One is this little icon over here. If you press and hold it, it's gonna give you things that are for you, for parents. So you have parental controls. So if you go to this page, you could see the screen time for the device. You could set daily limits, bedtimes. The parental controls on the child's device are family link parental controls. Parents can manage those controls and more from their own app. Parents need to add their password to update the controls so kids can easily change the parental controls on their own device. And then back on this menu, you also could add more content if you wanted to. And this lets you use Google Play here to install things that are not already on your device. So if you wanted to add more things to your tablet here, you could go ahead and do that from this screen over here. I'm gonna go back to the previous screen one more time. And there's one more thing here I wanted to point out. If there is issues with space, so if your kids download a lot of different apps here, you could go ahead and free up space over here and you have your devices setting over here. But for your kids, for them to get started, you have this menu on the bottom. So on the home, you're gonna get some recommendations. You're gonna get jokes of the day. You could search for different things that are available to you here. And they could go to the play icon over here where every app that is available on their device, they could download from here. And if you set the permission for them to download anything that is teacher recommended, they could jump in and download anything they see. Now this is based on the three interests. So what it's showing me 
could be filtered out using those interests, but I could also change my interest and it'll bring me back to that page that we set up in the beginning of this process. Anytime your kids could jump over here, sort out all the different apps by category, select any of them they like, install and start playing right over here. And if I go back, there's this other option over here called read, which is based on all the different books that are available. Your kids again could sort things by category or jump into any book and read them. I hope you found this useful. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.